Do you like blooming onions? We're gonna do some today. Stick around. Well, today we're going to uh, plant some of the famous Walla Walla onions. These are some sweet onions. They get about two pounds and they grow for 90 days until you hit harvest time. And these, um, these things are, uh, make a huge onion. So um, I ordered them into bunches and I got two bunches this year and I'm gonna separate them out like I always do with my, my onions. So I'll get the big ones and the little ones and um, I'm gonna plant all the big ones in the front part of the row and then all the little ones in the back part of the row and I can pluck them up, you know, and make uh, salad onions at, as we go. And these onions, as they're growing along, you know, they get up bigger and bigger. You can pick them anytime you want and eat them. And you know, they eventually get up to like six inches in diameter, nice size onion. So um, I'm gonna separate these out just like I always do. Here's an example. Here's the big ones. You know, you get a mix in, inside this. They're, they're all mixed up, but see how I got a big one there? And then here's a little one. You see the difference. So what I'll do is I'll plant these up in the front part and I'll put these back in the back part. That way we got, you know, use of all the onions and not waste any. So let me get these uh, separated out and we'll head over to the earth garden I've got a little spot out there for them. I'm going to uh, put in some phosphorus so I can promote root growth. Then I'm going to cultivate it in, grade the ground out, and then we'll pop these in and we'll demonstrate how to do that. And we'll watch these things all the way up until we start pulling them up and eating them. So be back in a minute. Notice how I got these going in the ground here. I put one in here and then I go up a foot and I put one and I, you know, I make sort of a triangle. See that triangle I got there? Then I come down here and I put one in, which gives it about a foot. Then I come up again, put one, it's about a foot. I make another triangle, I come up here and I put one in and see, see the triangles. And I come up here and I put one right here. Come right down here. You just want to do those triangle patterns. So when these things expand out, you know, they have plenty of room to grow without growing into each other. And let me get the rest of them put in. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Blooming onion time in about 90 days from now. So stick with us. We're going to come back and uh, watch the progression of all these pretty onions grow all along the way. See you back in a few weeks. Well, 
our Walla Walla onions are off and running. We planted them only about three weeks ago and they've, they've already made some good progress and it's time to ring them in. You always hear me talk about ringing in your onions and I use a plain old kitchen knife and all I do is I bend the blade 90 degrees where it has about an inch and a half on the end of it right here. It's just a 90 degree bend and I can come up go up to those onions and I wring them in to pull the soil back away from the bulb so that that, boil ha that bulb has room to expand without being compacted with soil, which makes it grow long and skinny, just like leggy. So if we pull the soil back, that Walla Walla onion bulb is gonna grow bigger and bigger. Let me show you how I do one. As you can see, the, uh, the, the onions are down buried in the ground kind of deep and all I do is I come up to the onion and I pull that dirt back see the bulb down there it's rung in now and it looks like it'll just fall over which it does but that thing's got a long root on it and it'll hold us it, it'll straighten itself up in just a few days but if I got the dirt back see I can see the, the root down below that bulb has nothing restricting it from growing so we'll be back in the days ahead and we'll watch our onions as they continue to grow until we get to harvest some at the end of the summer. So we'll be back in a few weeks ahead to watch some more progress. Well, it's been two weeks since we came out here and I showed you how to ring in these Walla Walla onions. And I wanted to give you a little tour this morning to show you how much them little guys have really started to grow. They're, they're setting on bulb. They're putting bulk into it, and they're really producing. So let's take a look at what we got. They're off and running. I'm so happy to see them. I can't wait to get me a blooming onion. So um, we'll be back in the days ahead and I'll show you how these things are progressing and um, when it's time to harvest and we'll know what to look for when, when it's time to harvest so you'll know when to harvest them. So we'll see you back here in just a few weeks ahead and take another look at them. Well, as y'all can see, our Walla Walla onions are showing the sign that they are ready to be harvested because as you know from learning from uh, my other videos on onions is when these tops they fall over and bend 90 degrees like you see in these right here then these fellers are ready to come on up so let me um, show you a little bit of a up close shot and let you see how they look up close well there we are nice big old fat walla wallas as you can see some of them really look pretty good i'm kind of excited i'm looking forward to getting these up you can look at them right in here you can see some of them are just true monsters if you like a blooming onion these are the ones you want to grow They are ready, Freddy. So let's get back over there and uh, let's get these up out the ground and get this show on the road. This is pretty easy to do. I just took a uh, cultivator, a hand cultivator. I took the middle tine and I bent it back 180 degrees back. Then I took the two middle tines and I bent them and straightened them out so that I have sort of like a V-shaped fork. And that V-shaped fork 
it can scoop right underneath those onions and pull them right up out of the ground, root and all. Okay, now we're ready to pull them up. I'm gonna use my little onion scooper. You see how this has been over 90 degrees? If I come up to this onion and grab a hold of this top and pull it, try to pull it out of the ground, I just break off the top and I don't wanna do that. So I take this and I just slip it right under that onion and I just pull it right up. See, come right out. Let me show you one more. See, it just goes right under, the, under that root, pulls it right out of the ground. Okay, let me get these up and uh, we'll get them over to the curing rack and let them start curing. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> okay, we've got the rack loaded with the onions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the shade cloth in the front because what you want on your onions is for them to be cool in the shade and dry. Let me hook this up real quick. We'll leave these in here for about one week. Let them dry out and cure and that outside skin will get kind of papery and crusty. And that's when you know we'll take it to the next step. So we'll let these sit for about one week and we'll be right back to carry on to the next step. So we'll see you soon. Well, our onions have been up here on the curing table for about 10 days and they've dried out real well and I've already started uh, to trim them down and to take them to the next step so I wanted to show you how to do that real quick so come on up here and take a close look at and uh, how I actually trim these things down and get them ready for uh, the final cure okay as you can see my um, onion has 
bend in the, on the curing table and see how it's starting to get the papery leaves. That's a good thing. And see how the tops are nice and dry. They're, and the roots are dried out some. So you got a, a wet end at the top and you got a wet end at the bottom we still got to deal with. So what I do is I take this top and I cut it off like about an inch above the onion and you can see that that top right there is still green. See it's still wet. So then we take the bottom and we cut off the onion, I mean the um, roots off the bottom of the onion and I get that end. And then all I do is just kind of brush them. See I've never washed these. I clean it up and I'll set that onion up there on the curing table and let it sit for about another three or four days so this top can dry out and so that root end can dry out so it doesn't bleed out or leak or leach the juice out of the inside and dry and that can cause it to rot. So let me set this on the table. Let me show you a couple more just to show you how I do it. Nothing to it. Just cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Brush them off a little bit, get some of that loose dirt off. And leave it just like that, put it up there. One more time. Cut the top, cut the bottom. And what I'm using are these poultry shears. They work just right. I like these for doing my onions and my garlic. Then I brush it off and get some of that loose sand off. I've never washed them, remember. See, it's still green. Can you see kind of green in there? See how it's wet? Okay. There we go. I'm going to set it up on the table and let that one dry. Well, I got my onions set up in the rack and I'm going to um, let these cure for about three or four more days and when these tops where I cut them right here at the top and I cut off the root when that top and bottom dries out then we'll re be ready to bag them and hang them and they'll uh, store for about two to three months like that because they are sweet onions so they about three months man you're really stretching it but there's four components four elements that you need to remember when you're trying to cure your onions the first thing is they got to be in the shade you don't want them in direct sun so I'm going to pull the shade cloth down over the front of my seed starting rack to shield them from the sun and um, I'm going to also want to try to keep them dry so I actually attach a tarp to the top and I stretch that down with bungee cords so that it doesn't get any kind of moisture from rain or irrigation or anything like that so I've got the shade and I've got it dry and the third thing is you want to keep it cool so being in the shade it it, it is at a temperature that it can tolerate it's you just don't want it to be in a hot sun and the fourth element is you want ventilation and you can see that the both ends of this uh, rack will be wide open so the air can flow right through and since I'm using this the fencing on my rack table I have ventilation above it and I have ventilation below it so I have ventilation on both sides if I put this in the garage in an enclosed area the the air just sits and if it just sits like that without any air movement it causes them to rot and we don't want that. So um, let me um, close down this. Okay, I've got my onions all 
secured on the tray on to dry out and cure for another few days and I got the, the shade cloth pu pulled down with the tarp on it to keep it good and dry so we'll see you back here in about four days and we'll take it to the last step see you soon All right, we got our onions out uh, out of the uh, rack and they've dried out. And as you can see, see how pretty the skin, they have all dried and they got that papery thin skin on them. I don't even bother to take that off. I'm, you know, this right here is what you wanna leave on here until you get ready to actually eat it or cook it. Just leave this protective skin on here until you're ready to use it. And then when you do wanna use it, um, I'm going to peel you and just show you what one looks like. You just simply peel that right off of there. Get that one layer. See, you start right up here at the top. Take that one layer off. Usually comes off a little easier than this. They're pretty fresh. Once they dry a little bit longer and they stay on the um, in your net in your bags and they get some more air on them, this this right here comes off real fast, real easy. But you get the idea. You just keep you keep peeling it and it'll come right off. But see that beautiful onion? We'll eat this one tonight, but um, we'll finish peeling it when I have more time. But see there how pretty those onions are? Very sweet. They are, they are good eating. So let's get busy and we'll, um, we'll start bagging these up. Well, we got us some onion bags and I just love to put them in the onion bags because they're netted, which gives me plenty of ventilation to flow through these onions. And you need that ventilation for, um, for your onions to keep them from rotting. And so um, what we do is, well, I'll let Nancy hold it. We take, uh, check your onions one last time before you bag them up. If there's any of them that are soft, discard them. And I usually like to put about three of these big ones in a bag because <laughs> that's about all somebody's gonna be able to eat because that's a lot of onion. And you just pull the little drawstring and see there, it's ready to be given to someone and they can also hang it up and um, store them so there's air flowing around and through the onions and then um, you can reuse the bag several times so let's get these all bagged up and get them ready to share with our mama-in-law your mama mm -hmm. and a couple of friends and enjoy some good old walla walla onions Well, we got all the onions all bagged up and they are ready to hang and ready to uh, give away as gifts. So we're, we're pretty excited. And uh, if you've never grown Walla Walla onions before, give them a try because they are sure some sweet onions. They are very tasty, very good eating. Uh -huh. So um, we hope you've enjoyed learning about the Walla Walla onion today. And we appreciate you watching our videos. And if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel, be a part of the YouTube family. So until we see you next time, always remember, by hands, hands, we, we are, are fed. fed.
Give, give us, Lord, Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.